I think people have got to remember that he's like my best friend. And if I, if there was three people agreeing, it wouldn't be a, a funny show. So um, I certainly take on the role as um, class bully. Steve takes on the role of um, pr professorial mediator. Um, but it's just to get the best out of Carl, and he always wins. I can tell you, you know, he say something, and there it is. There I we've get got the it. the impression that you don't really care what Ricky's saying to you. I just get the feeling it's not like you go home at night worrying about it. No, I mean, you've you got to remember I'm 37. I'm not like going on to my mum and dad going, they're picking on me again. <laughs> you know, I'm 37, and sometimes I, I, I say stuff back, don't I? Yeah. Say. And it's made him a million pounds. That's it. That's <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's not. Uh, it, it it doesn't bother me anymore. I've got used to it. I mean, but it's it started off blessing. slowly. But as anyone who doesn't realise it's with his blessing, he wouldn't do it again. <laughs> We've known each other now for ten years. Me and Steve have known each other for I don't know twelve, thirteen years. It's like that's what mates do. That's how I was brought up. That was the whole thing. You 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 poke someone until they come back. And you don't mind if they come back with a zinger and... Eric, if you want. I can poke him now, is it? <laughs> I don't like it when they both do it, because that's, that's what happened at XFM that day, when you both were having a go at me, and I said, right, forget it. And I left. That's the only time when Did you, you pushed me over the edge. Yeah. When I left, I went and got a train and went to... Uh, Hastings. Hastings is a train. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, remember the famous again. Hastings incident. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, during the radio yeah, show? Yeah, about 15 minutes to go, I said, forget this. And yeah. I went. But and then I then turned my phone off and then got to Hastings... I had a walk along the pebbles and that, put the phone on, they left a message going, you seemed a bit down today, mate, was it something I said? <laughs> was this all I said? Well, I've been winding them up for two hours and I said, was this all I said? That's, <laughs> you, were but then, you were planning to go to Hastings, you just go to Hastings on a whim. No, no, day. I, said, I called up Suzanne, I said, I've had a bad day today, let's, let's, get to let's, go. let's yeah. go to Hastings, get away from it. And then, uh, and then he said, you'll never wind me up again, you'll never break me again. I don't think I ever have, have I? Nah. I think what we have done, and this might have been a coincidence, but I think we've inflamed his quest for knowledge. He still finds out his own things. He still believes in what he believes in, um, wh whatever we say. But at least now he's sort of belligerent in what he wants to find out. I disagree, Rick. He's not learned anything. No, I think he has. No. As you said, no, you say by I your own admission. Up some stuff. Oh, by your own admission, you say a fact goes in the ear, and you have to lose another fact in order to make space for the new one. So therefore, you forget everything you've already learned. Yeah, you've I've said that. You, that was your I've own told explanation. You before, knowledge needs at least the chance mm. of application, not just flicking through a book and seeing everything. Unless you're Rain Man, that's not well, knowledge. What have you learned? Since when? Well, since we've been in Matthew, the last year, Matthew asked him this question on the on the way here. Okay, he said, "What's the last film you um, saw, Carl?" He went, "What do you mean?" I said, "That's you can't be more specific." <laughs> What's the last film you saw, Carl? That is all the information what you do need. You mean? He no. said, "What do you mean?" But I, I just kind of meant. There's a lot, you see in adverts of films all the time. Didn't ask that. That's not what he meant. No, though, is no. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows yeah, the last film you saw. Yeah. Edge of Darkness, Mel Gibson, that's my answer. Boom. What's the last thing you learned? What's the, what, so tell me something you've learned in the last year that is a really useful, interesting tidbit. It's not, it's not like that, though. I might have learned to do a bit of plastering. Yeah. I've put coving up. It's good. I've done electrics. Absolutely it's brilliant. It's not a fact. No, more... That is, that is... But that's not what you're talking about, then. You haven't inflamed no. him. You don't inflame him to do no, some coving. but that is more useful in the world than pointless facts of people who go yeah, through things to win don't quizzes. don't say that we've educated him because we haven't. We've had nothing to do with the COVID. No, but he realised that he was wasting his he time. Realized he realised on a podcast that it was, he was worthless. I called him up once, right? We are doing another podcast. It said number one. It's like the tenth we put. And now we've got this. We're being sold around the world. I said, what are you doing? He said, just putting some shit out of a drain. <laughs> do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. But they're the things I like doing because... <laughs> At the end of the day, you've done something. You haven't had to pay someone else to do it. Yeah. That's what I ate. Being yeah. ripped off. Yeah. I ate that. That's what's important to me, keeping my hand in. Yeah. In some shit. Yeah. Uh, it's up to your elbow, not you just said. sat in a room talking like this, because this isn't a proper thing, is it? It's not a proper job, this. I like something where you can stand back and go, I've fixed that. Yeah. I've done that. That's like going back to basics, isn't it? Yeah. That's what the cavemen were like. Yeah. Done that, sorted that. We've no. got to get a system where we're just shitting everywhere. <laughs> we need to invent a toilet. 
Yeah. You don't get it because you don't do it. I've never called you up and you've had your hand down a, a drain full of shit. You've no. never done it. No, I call a plumber. <laughs> yeah, but you're getting ripped off. Call out charge, 80 quid. Yeah. Oh, the joke's on me, <laughs> isn't it? Doesn't matter. Joke's on me. I didn't buy a fucking thing. <laughs> it's just what I enjoy doing, really. It's the Brilliant. manual bit. Uh, but I can't think of a fact. Like Do you know a, what he said? In a couple of years' time, he'd like to get a little part-time job in B&Q. <laughs> Why wait a couple of years' time? Yeah, it's just get, get, get going now. It's just that I'm down there a lot. That's where I sort of like to wander. So if you're There's down there... There's always a tool, a new tool that I didn't know was out. Uh, yeah, I can see myself sort of working there when I'm there. older. Yeah. What I mean, I hear people now. Like, if I hear people, I overhear old people saying, oh, I'm struggling finding the coat hooks, and I go, I owe four. <laughs> you might as well get paid for it. Yeah. I love it. Though. Oh dear. Home base. Uh, what home base or being king? Prefer home base. Do you? I can never find any staff in home base. Can't you have two part-time jobs? Because you could be what half in B and Q, half in home base. Co-works are a different place in B and Q, though. Yeah. Confusing. Wasn't what's it? your ideal? What's your ideal job now? If someone said you can do anything you want, it's a forty-hour week. You get paid whatever you're earning now. What do you want to do? No, if I'd like to do anything, I've always said about being a surgeon or a doctor. That's not going to happen, mate. That is not going to happen. No, but you said I could be anything. No, but given your abilities. Well. Getting shouted at drinks. No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. I know I'm not, you know. Well, why don't you go to medical school? I think it's, it's too late now. Well, it's probably, you probably now with your profile, you could probably have a little go. I mean, they let celebrities, like pilots always go, do you want to come up the cockpit? No, it will happen. Me. I think that's, that's like the next X Factor style thing, isn't it? Yeah. That's the next thing to do. Yeah. It's a way of getting new people interested, young people into jobs that we need cover for. We've got loads of singers now. Oh, yeah, we don't need another singer. We're no one's singers. going, oh, I need, another, I need another singer. No. I'm sick of it. Everyone, everyone's singing. It's like we're living in an opera now. Everyone's singing more yeah. than they're talking. They did a survey. It was on the radio yesterday. Um, uh, amongst kids, 54% of them said they wanted to be famous when they grew up. 15% wanted to go into either doctor, doctors or nurses. 54% just wanting to be famous. Non-specific. You could be a it? famous doctor. I prefer to be a famous doctor than known for doing what we do. Which one? Dr. Crippin? Dr. Just a, Dre? Just a good one that everyone goes, he's good. Dr. Fox is the best. Yeah. Just a brain surgeon. <laughs> Hearts. It'd be good, that. It'd be a good feeling at the end of the day. Not Maybe for the family, it wouldn't. <laughs> I did like Knob News. I hated Rockbusters. It was annoying. He said it, Every week he said it was a cryptic clue. It wasn't a cryptic clue. It was, might as well have said, what am I thinking? Because none of the clues worked. Absolutely ridiculous. Many of them racist. I don't um, remember much of the Knob News. The famous one was a bloke who grew a penis on his arm. Mm. Why did he do that? Because they had to give him, graft it on, they couldn't do it on, they had to take his old one off or he'd lost it. And so they grew it on his arm. He was right. embarrassed, dropping his pants all the time at the doctors, and they put it there, easy access, in and out quicker. What? That's not that true. That was the story, wasn't it? That's what we're talking about. Wasn't. What, he was having a piss from his arm? No, 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 no. no. no he'd lost his penis. Sorry, Rick, sorry if I didn't quite get it right. Oh. I didn't realise it was... Right, uh, right. He'd he'd not, he'd, quite he'd, clear. Uh, apparently he'd lost his penis, right? Right, but so they he grew said, one on his arm. So, so, no, they grew his back on his arm so to, to, to keep it alive while they were sorting something out. He had a horrendous accident. Right. So they couldn't put it back there, but they needed to grow it on something. So they grafted it onto his arm to just grow it there before that the operation. That makes sense, but what's yeah. he talking about? He, he made it up. He embellished. He made it up. He was embarrassed to have it. He didn't yeah. like up in his trousers. I think, he thought, I think he thought it was someone else's at first. Like they were growing knobs on this bloke's arm. They go, uh, we need to grow a knob. I know a bloke's arm. It was perfect. <laughs> It's, he's got, got the most fertile knob growing arm. We haven't done knob news for ages. No, I wonder why. Why did that die out? Why did that die out? There probably wasn't a lot of knob news in the world to keep it as a feature. Trevor McDonald. Here's knob news. Channel 4 has very wisely um, got itself in bed with us um, with our, four, you know, our new animated series in which Ricky, Carl and myself take on animated form, but the conversations are all real. They're all real. Real life conversations that we've had over the years. They're not manipulated, they're not redone, we don't say let's do that again, it's not scripted. It really is conversations that we've had over the last six or seven years, and they've, they've taken snippets and sort of animated it behind our back, so to speak. It already existed. 
and um, they've brought it to life. And he lends himself so well to animation because he has these ridiculous flights of fancy. Um, and they've, I think they've done a really good job. Thoughts, Carl? What's yeah, your hopes? Right. Yeah? Um, I just always worry about the first few aren't as good. It's the other way around to most films, mm. I'd say. So keep watching. If you like the first couple, keep watching because it gets better and better. But you can't remember the last time you saw a film. What do you know about films? Mm. No, but just in the way that normally you go, Rocky was good, and then it's like, oh, Rocky 6, give it up. Whereas I'd say by Series 6 of Us, right. it's, it's a better stuff, I'd say. But I think, being I honest. think just, just so they don't have to keep watching for the next... 19 years of their life. <laughs> Let's say that actually episode 2, series 1 is good. Let's say that. So they watch. Yeah? Mm, I'm still... No, don't, wa- I don't, don't watch it yet. It's don't watch too it familiar yet. Don't watch to me, it. maybe. What? Yeah? Uh? It may be when, too should familiar they, Should to they me. watch the first series at all? I'd say coming at about... All I'm saying is, watch it. If you, if you kind of go, oh, oh, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Leave it a couple of weeks. Come in, you won't have missed anything, there's no sort of nothing, ongoing... Nothing to miss? No, because no, no, it's, it's, it's just a chat from one time. It's not So great, it doesn't matter. It's not there's great. No sort it of, it's not like I'm a I'm not going to watch it at all. You put, I'm not going to... So... Well, you, what you're doing is worse. You're saying, oh, it's great. No, I'm not. It, no, I'm just go, asking oh, you... What, no, so oh, don't... Uh, we don't know whether... It, we, we don't... Difference of opinion. I think it's pretty good. He doesn't. <laughs>